everyone welcome back I hope everybody is having a great day I am here today to swatch out all of my glitter paints I have two different kinds of glitter paints and one of them I forgot to write the name so let me go ahead and put the name let me put it on the end since I'm putting it on the end but it's holographic so we'll probably use some a piece of black cardstock for that one and this is the color hologram but and I have a little piece of black cardstock right here okay the two different kinds of glitter paint that I have and that one this set which is the extreme glitter I have two four six nine different colors of this one and I also have let me get one that you can actually see the words I also have I can't see that let's see this one and this is glitterific glitter paint um, I have two four six nine of these different colors I showed you guys these two different types of paints on my last haul video um, I'm sorry it took me so long to swatch them because that video was um, March 1st I think so that's been well over a month but as you guys know I was on a no buy for the whole month of March so all of these uh, paints I had purchased actually in February so I have not bought any of these since February so and I was working on getting the whole collection of each so now I can continue to collect them but um, the extreme glitter I think it only have four or five more that I need of that um, it's quite a few of these glitterifics though that I still need to to collect but we're gonna test these guys out we're gonna swatch them all and see what we get and see which one is the better is the glitterific better than the extreme glitter and what type of glitter is in each now I have never used this extreme glitter wait I think I've used the hot cuz one of them I let's see one moment let's see yeah I have used this extreme glitter the hologram this color um, I use it over um, Windsor and Newton iridescent medium um, I put that on a background page I put black um, acrylic paint down and then I went over with the iridescent medium and then over the iridescent medium I put this extreme glitter hologram color and it was beautiful um, it was a lot you know it took me a long time to do all that but it was well worth it in the end so we're gonna see which one is better but guys I know this glitterific paint and I know I remember right the smell is so strong I'm gonna have to put my mask on um, cuz the smell and if you are asthmatic um, which I am I really don't recommend this glitterific paint because the smell is just so strong it's the extreme glitter is not as bad I mean it has a smell but it's not as bad as the glitterific um, paint which to me they're kind of the same but this one to me seems stronger I don't know but let's get started and I'm gonna stop talking we are going to start first and you guys can see I have my little thing of paint brushes here I love that little thing um, we're gonna start with the purple prism um, I have already prepared my paper this is very thick cardstock I have some water handy to wet my brushes first I have my towel 
in on the opposite side with a blotter page between. I have my Glitterific paint swatches ready. So we're good to go. And I have this piece of black cardstock to try a few of them on and to definitely let you see how the hologram look on the black. So let's get started, guys. All right, just gonna dab my brush. And we are gonna start off first with Purple Prism. And these are the Extreme Glitter. I'm just gonna take the top off and dip them. I have one brush to kind of stir up a little bit. It is very, very thick. All right, just a little bit because we're only doing swatches and the swatch that I'm making is going to be my actual swatch for these guys. And I'm just going to put these in my big book of swatch charts. It's nice. The color itself to me is very translucent. So um, I have all these paints in the solid regular colors um, paints like the Apple Barrel. I have a few folk art paints, but most of my paints are Apple Barrel. And I would recommend putting the, if like if this purple color, there is a purple color like this without glitter. I would put that color down, then put this on top. All right, this is purple. And let's see if they, to me, they look the same, but this glitter is very, very small. The other glitter, Purple Prism, has large chunks, chunky glitter. And this glitter is very small. I'll bring it up and show you. Let me wash my brush. See, one of them is the Purple Prism is very chunky and just a plain purple is very fine glitter. All right, let's take a look at fuchsia. Again, this is one with very fine glitter. I'm gonna kind of let them dry and then I'm gonna let you guys see them. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all down on paper. And what's next, turquoise. Oh, that's, it's a pretty color. I wouldn't really call it turquoise. I would call it a light blue but it is definitely a beautiful, beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful for a sky. Really pretty, I'm gonna bring you guys up to see that. That's pretty, that's really pretty. And you really get a lot of glitter with these guys, with this extreme glitter. The Glitterific I know is much chunkier. It's like you get a chunky glitter. All right, what is our next color? Emerald, my birthstone. And this one has a thing on it. Ow. Super thick. Beautiful color, though. Yeah, that is a pretty color. The colors seem a little bit muted. But muted, but pretty. Like, really, really pretty. That's why I would go put down my... Um, 
my solid color first without the non glitter color first and then go back over it with this color all right pair it up and this is like a neon green so let's see peridot is a very pretty birthstone color i love it i like green period <laughs> i love green this is very very pretty It's a beautiful color. All these colors are really pretty. So maybe if you still want to buy them, if you're asthmatic, just, I mean, everybody has a lot of masks now, so just put your mask on. Okay, what's next? Red. This one's not even open yet. And we are down here at the bottom with the red. It's more like a pink with red glitter. But still pretty. No complaints. They kind of look pastel-y to me. All right, we are about to check out the black. And this is my first time using the black in the extreme glitter. I've used the Glitterifics a lot, and you can see in some of the bottles that I've used a lot with the Glitterifics. Um, this is the black. So let's check that out. And this one also has the fine glitter. This is really nice. It's, it's nice. I like it. You can definitely do some fun things with these glitters. Let's try that on. Yeah. Nope. Don't work on the black paper. Black on black. Nope. All right, guys. Let's try the hologram. And I'm going to get a fresh brush. Even though I'm washing it over here. Let's get a fresh brush for this hologram. Because it is very light in color with everything. And this is the beautiful hologram. I have used this one before. And you can still see the glitter. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. I'm going to bring it up so you can see it. The hologram is beautiful. And that's the black. And these are all the colors. That hologram is beautiful. I love that color and I actually have a few bottles of the hologram. Okay, let's try the hologram on the black paper. It's really picking up the glitter, the blues. Um, it's like a blue and green glitter. In this hologram is very pretty very pretty I love the hologram it's probably my favorite and you can also take this hologram over if you don't want to buy all of these like I've bought all of these you could just have I know a lot of people collect the apple barrel paints the solid colors just buy the hologram and you can go over the regular colors and you'll and you can get these other colors so you can actually save money there just buy a few bottles of this and use the apple barrel paint you already have and just go over it I also recommend if you want a shimmer paint to use your regular apple barrel paint and go over it with the Windsor and Newton iridescent medium I do not have that handy it is on my bookshelf and it is behind me and I can't get up right now so 
but I will insert a picture right here of the iridescent medium and I will put a link below to the uh, for the iridescent medium you can get that on um, Amazon and you get a nice bottle and it lasts a very long time all right guys so we have swatched out all of our extreme glitter they are beautiful very very beautiful just let you take a look again love that hologram just beautiful guys all right so let me put these guys to the side because they are still wet now let me turn my paper over and we have our paper ready for the glitterific paints and here comes the strong smell we're going to start with evergreen first and these are really really thick and chunky like really really chunky but they are beautiful and you could do some beautiful things with them see you get super chunky paint I mean glitter in them And with these, I noticed that you have to go let it dry. Um, and I always go over like three or four times to get the glitter effect because you see how sporadic the glitter is. I'll let this dry and then I'll go over it again. And most of the time I go over it a third time because the glitter is so sporadic. And this color is evergreen. Right. Let's grab a new brush. What's next? Clear hologram. We're going to use the clear hologram on the paper, on the white paper, as well as the black. And with this clear hologram, I do the same thing that I do with the hologram in the extreme glitter. I will also put down, this is beautiful guys. I will also put down the regular apple barrel paint or folk art paint, the non glitter. And I will go over it with this, the clear hologram. And in the extreme glitter, I will go over it with the regular hologram. This is probably the best color because you could use this on any color and get a beautiful effect. Guys, look at that hologram color. That is beautiful. And that's the evergreen. It's like pink and blue, yellow. Just, it's like a party on the paper. It's beautiful. Definitely recommend the clear hologram and the glitterific. If you can get past the smell, they're worth it. But you have to get past the smell first. All right, what's next? We are going with dark blue. And let me get another paintbrush. With these, I have to use a different paintbrush. That's why I bought my whole little set over here. If I could open it. There we go. And this is another one with the vet with the sporadic paint. And you just have to go over it a few times, let it dry. And it's more like a gel than a paint to me. It's like gel. Um, I don't know if anyone, I know quite some people may have the um, Ranger Stickles Glitter Gel. That is exactly what this is like. But this is paint instead of so-called gel, but the texture is definitely like a gel. Right. 
gonna go ahead and lay down the last few and then I'm gonna let you take a look. Our next color is tangerine pink. And I have two different pinks, of course. One is tangerine and one is neon. They're almost, to me, they're almost the same color, but they're not. Oh, and I wanted to put the hologram on this black cardstock. So let me go back and do that. Look how beautiful that is on this black cardstock. It is beautiful. It's really picking up the blue. I'm seeing gold now. Um, purple. Colors I didn't see on the white paper. It looks totally different on, I'm gonna hold it up and let you see, because it looks totally different than the white paper and the black paper. Okay, this is the black paper, and you can see, you see blue, you see green, um, some gold, purple, and on the, the holographic, on the white paper, I see like pastel colors, like orange, blue, purple, yellow colors I don't see on the black. So different paper give you a different effect with the glitterific holographic paint. So that's like two paints in one. All right, and this next color is tangerine pink. No, this is tangerine neon. And it's pretty. It has large chunks of like pink confetti. Let's put that down. Really pretty. You can do some nice stuff on a page with this. You know, very different. Different is always better. Different is always better. Look at that pink. Nice and pretty. It's like confetti. All right, what's next? Black opal. Black opal is next. Let's move that up so you can see. I think I've used this one once. And you get chunky, chunky black glitter and confetti-like objects in the paint. Really pretty. The black is nice. You get all kinds of colors. You know, when you turn it, it kind of shifts different colors. Really, really nice. All right, guys, this last place down here at the bottom, we are going to put our hot pink. Where did I get hot pink from? Neon pink. And the one before was tangerine neon. I must have a hot pink. I do have a hot pink. This is hot pink. Beautiful color. It's like a rosy color. So let's try this hot pink. Let me grab a new brush. I love this color. I have used this several times. I don't know how I can get it mixed up with anything else. And this is our hot pink. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down our red. 
in our neon pink and we're going to take a look this is our neon pink it's very very thick but it's a lighter pink than to me the tangerine neon look more neon than the neon pink it's like a softer pink All right, and last but not least, we have our Glitterific Red. And I use this a lot during Christmas, as you can see. It's way down there because I use this and the, and the um, Evergreen for Christmas. And this red is beautiful. I already know it. It has gold specks in it as well. Very pretty. And that was our red, and that was our last one, guys. And it brings you closer to check out all of these beautiful colors. This is our evergreen, our holographic, our dark blue, tangerine, pink, opal, black opal, hot pink. And over here, we have neon pink, and we have red. And as you can see, that neon pink and that hot pink and the tangerine pink are three different pinks. Guys, these paints are beautiful. I love them. Let me bring over the, these are the Glitterifics. And this is the Extreme Paint. These are all of them that we swatched out today. Let me let you take a look at those again. Just beautiful. Guys, these paints are so pretty. I highly recommend them. And like I said before, if you're asthmatic, you will definitely want to wear a mask. But everybody have masks on handy anyway. So, But check these out. I purchased all of these at Walmart. They are around $3 each. They're kind of pricey for this little bottle. Some were a little bit more than $3, but I did not buy them all at one time. Every time I would go, I would pick up one or two. So guys, go to your Walmart, check out a few of these paints. And like I said before, if you want to just use your Glitterific, not your Glitterific, your regular Apple Barrel paint or Folk Art paint, the basic colors, you can pick up these two guys, and this is the Extreme Glitter in Hologram, and this is the Glitterific in Clear Hologram. Just pick these two up, and you can go over your basic colors, your non-glitter colors, and have the, pretty much the same effect you're going to have with all of these. So guys, if you have any questions about these paints, feel free to drop me a comment below. Thank you all so much for joining and I will see you soon.